A mother in Anoka is seeking justice after her 16 year old son was stabbed in the back after an argument over a basketball game. She calls it a racially charged incident. Reg Chapman spoke with her about why she fears this may get swept under the rug. I'm praying for the best, but I'm prepared for what could be worst case scenario. 16 year old Julius Cummings lung collapsed after he was stabbed in the back five times following a confrontation on the basketball court in the city of Ramsey on Saturday. The last thing that he remember is they had played a game. Um, there was a dispute. Uh, boy yelled, called him oh, as he was walking away. Um, grabbed him by the neck and stabbed him in the back. Antoinette Brisson says her son's attacker also hurt one of his friends. He didn't realize he was uh, being stabbed, and his friend grabbed that gentleman off of him, and he was stabbed. Brisson said it was Julius's basketball buddies who ran for help, and a neighbor drove the injured boys to Mercy Hospital. That's when police were called. Minutes later, they got another call from the parents of a 19-year-old who claimed he was at the park and stabbed two people. According to the police, what he said is he had stabbed them um, in self-defense. Police did arrest the 19-year-old and released him pending further investigation. Commander Wayne Heath says investigators are trying to figure out the actions of everyone involved leading up to the stabbing. Regardless of whatever happened, to yell out and call him the N-word and then stab him in his back, there's no, there's no justification for that. This mother is afraid there will be no justice for her son, the quiet jokester who is a lead singer in the youth choir at his church. I don't want this swept under the, the rug. She believes this 19-year-old should be held accountable for what he did. You're not a child. You're not a 16-year-old teenager. You're not a 15-year-old teenager. You are 19 years old. If you don't know right from wrong by now, it's something else going on. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. Julius's mom says doctors are concerned his lungs will re-collapse once the tube is removed, so he may have to spend several more days in the hospital. Investigators tell us they are amping up their probe of this case after threats by some of the people involved showed up on social media.